Hi there, how are we doing? Another exciting day in the world, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Um, today's block, block number 12. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I'm actually going to repeat. Um, what was block number five? Was it five or number eight? Oh, that one. But what I want to do, I'm going to transpose the blue and the cream colours so that it's going the other way a little bit. Because I quite fancy if I'm, I'm going to do 16 blocks, so I'm going to have a square quilt. Um, I fancy the two of them opposite each other in the centre. And, and I really, I was quite taken with this one. I know, it was, I, should I say that myself? I made it, I like it. Um, but I thought if I change the colours over... And then they can go diagonal and, and that will swap. Oh, might work, might not. But it's all cut out here ready. I have to say that I'm a little bit behind today. Had a bit of a busy full on day yesterday. Um, so I didn't get my own work done in time. I usually like, I tried to get them done before um, I show you. Obviously, look, I'm itching everywhere today. I don't know what that's about. It's, it's starting to rain out there. What's that all about? We don't want wetness. What's all this wetness? Um, yes, I'm all cut out, ready to put together. <clears throat> and I'll do that in a minute. Um, there we are, block number 12. What I would say is if you don't particularly like this block, repeat one of the others that you do like, yeah? Um, and maybe shift your colours around or just do a straight copy so that they complement each other in the centre of your block or maybe corners or something. Um, I think that might be quite nice because although we have lots of, I've put the um, cushions up the top there so you can see, the, well the, that's two of the Witter quilts that were because they're little mini versions that way. Um, they were all different, all their blocks were different weren't they, every single one was different, although we used um, maybe the same design, each block colour wise was, the sa uh, was different. So this one, I'm going to sort of keep it the same, but just change those two things, just for a change, see what happens, all right? So that's what I'm doing today. Feel free to help and copy if that's what you want to do. I think that's good. If not, pick one that you like, all right? So there we go. So we've got a nice little heap going on. Now, this morning, I had problems setting up my stand and everything here. Now, what, what you lot can't see is what I'm looking at as talking to you, all right? So I have a set of plastic drawers that's empty so I can move it about so that stood the other side of the table because the table's too near for the camera yeah but on top of that I have an empty plastic tub turned upside down to give a bit of height and then on top of that I've got a little podiumy thing that my friend made me Kevin made me um that my phone will slide into and sit and I can do all of this at you which is lovely and so when this isn't in play most of the day it all gets put back over the other side of the room and the tub gets turned upside down and all of these and the patterns and everything get put inside the tub out of the way so we know where they all are it's all good and this morning i went to go and do everything and i found tub and stuff in there and a cat in it and a tom tom was inside the tub um demanding of fusses he is so funny bless him i was over there faffing and doing and getting ready and and i've turned around and he's, he's got himself in the tub and he sat there like, hello, fuss me. And I'm like, oh, OK, this is attention seeking if ever I've seen it. So we're having a little fuss and then he's curled up inside. So I'm like about half an hour late wittering because I, I, I didn't have the heart to turf him out because he looked so cute and coffee in there. So I left him alone for a bit. I've got a little photo. I'll put it on, on over on Patchwork Witterings for you. Cause he, he's obsessed lady. Yeah, OK. Ah, there we are. So what else has happened? I'll tell you what, yesterday was good fun. We sat out in the sunshine outside the cupboard. And I think I said yesterday, Paul worked so hard and he put a whole load of stone down and, and we did the, the flowers and the tubs and everything and we got big umbrellas and whatever. And we measured two metres everywhere. And ladies arrived and we stitched. And we yattered. I don't think an awful lot of work got done at all yesterday. I think we spent most of our day nattering. or day, afternoon. We had a couple of hours, which was lovely. So that's the first session that I've run in weeks, months, whatever. Um, and I'm hope to, hopeful to do a few more now. So it's quite warm out there. If somewhat, it's trying to rain, but it, it's overcast. But it's supposed to sort of 
lighten up a little bit later on today so i'm hopeful that this afternoon session will go ahead and then i'm going to do one tomorrow as well if it's nice um and i think these are going to be my way forward here at the cupboard because obviously i can't have anybody in but there we go I think one can come in because i've got enough space for one to have a little look at and, and remove themselves again because we've got all the old hand sanitizer and all of that going on um so purchases can happen but um yeah there we are how good was that and after my weirdness yesterday my moments of i'm gonna make bunting i made bunting i've never made bunting really isn't really my thing I'm, and i've cut and helped make communal bunting at big sizes a few years ago uh, with our mate debs but um this was just little i did five by fours and i did a whole great big grid on me and i just machined up and down and up and down and up and down and then I cut them with pinking shears, so they had little frilly edges. And then I put ribbon on the top, and I did 12 metres of that. That did two of the um, new umbrellas, um, and stopped people poking their eyeballs out. So that was quite good, and it worked. So I was quite pleased about that. So if you've got umbrellas that are a little bit dangerous, bunting seems to be the way to go. Put your bunting around around your uh, your yeah around the. It worked well. It did. So that's now in place for uh, future gatherings as well. So that's really good. Oh, that was so exciting yesterday. As I say, it didn't do a lot. But it was good. I do know it was so good for the soul. And several um, hadn't been out for a while. So that was lovely. Really was good. Right, so what else is happening? Oh, see, I was just so excited by all of that. Dirty, 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 dirty. Oh, and that's the other thing I need to do. Um, it's down here. But I can't actually show you, really. Look. Here's a quilt. It's the back of the quilt. I ran out of the one fabric and the other fabrics got put on it. Can you see that nice quilting on there? Mm. I can't show you it because it's the mystery quilt. It's garden blooms. Look, 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 look. Garden blooms. I need to put the binding on that today. It's very jolly. I, I love it a lot. You get ones, you, you get patterns when you're designing that you, you do and you, you don't know are they going to work until you've made it. You really, really don't. Anything can happen along the way. And what looks good on paper and then thought and all the rest of it can sometimes look a bit, ooh, I don't know. And when I got to the end of this one, I was like, mm, I'm still not sure about that. I loved the idea of it. I loved the individual blocks. Loved it. But I wasn't overly, I wasn't sure on my, on my fabric pick because it was a bit strange for me. Off it's gone for quilting to sew up at Ambleside and it's come back. And I love it again. I think it's all right now. Now it's quilted and everything and I'm going to put binding on. I was originally going to turn the front to the back for the binding. But what I'm going to do is actually put a separate binding on because I think it deserves that now I've seen. I quite like it. <laughs> exciting you'll all get to see that soon right okay so that's me witted for the day hold up we'll move that one shall we <laughs> that's a very handy parcel shelf um so yeah have a happy day be lovely talk to people do your exercise run in the rounds um um and tidy in do you know i've got a heap of game i've now got umbrellas with um bunting hanging off and tables and things all in here where i was all nicely tidy and clean and oh dear oh, i'm all loaded again but you know what it's so good i don't care because it will go out there for people later ah be lovely